रघुपति राघव राजा पतित पावन सीतारा रघुपति राघव राजा पतित पावन सीतारा ईश्वर अल्लाह तेरे नीश्वर हेलो एवरीबॉडी डियर चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी सेलिब्रेट गांधी जयंती विश यू ऑल ए वेरी हैप्पी गांधी जयंती गांधी जी द फादर ऑफ आर नेशन असन एज वी हियर अबाउट गांधी जी we immediately think of ahimsa non violence satya truth truth and non violence these two were his chief principles and his weapons he used truth and non violence to get freedom for india from the british and that is exactly why we celebrate the day and not only we the whole world is celebrating the day this is a, an international day of non violence of course we will immediately say there is violence all over the place there is injustice all over the place corruption exactly we must put an end to all that then only we will make gandhi ji relevant then only we can proudly say we are the followers of gandhi ji our dear babu ji what do we have to do gandhi ji has told us be the change that you wish to see in the world and that's what gandhi ji told us be the change that you wish to see in the world so let us all try to be the change certainly things will be different so remember truth and non violence with these two weapons we can conquer everybody everything so let us be try to be the change that we wish to see in the world once again wish you a very happy gandhi jayanti a few days back we conducted an elocution competition in view of gandhi jayanti today we have the results first prize second prize third prize etc but i wish to say all who participated are winners all who participated so you don't have to be discouraged you are winners and you will certainly win prizes next time or the next time so i congratulate all the children who have participated in this elocution competition and send send us the videos of course some children could not send the videos due to some technical problem i think next time you will certainly be able to do that and remember our watch word is carpe diem plug the day utilize the opportunities we are going to have more programs like this so that you can virtually participate in some of the competitions to improve your public speaking to improve your talent etc uh, etc et so i hope next time more students will participate and utilize the opportunities and be winners once again wish you all a very happy gandhi jayanti thank you for the teachers and my dear friends warm greeting to all of you i am chintayam nayak of class 6 to c my life is my message hear the sin love the sinner yes these are the famous sayings of mahatma gandhi ji today i feel honored to have the opportunity to give a short speech on mahatma gandhi ji His whole life story is great inspiration for us. Mahatma Gandhi ji, a person who always lived in the heart of Indian people. Every kid and children know him by the name of Bapu. Mahatma Gandhi ji is called as Mahatma by Rabindranath Tagore because of his great works and greatness all through the life. He fought against British to get India freedom. you always believe in truth peace and non violence 
So we call him as the father of the nation. He started a powerful and non-violent movement to make India an independent country. He is a man one who left the salt march or bandy march in 1930. Other big movements started by the Bapu for the independence of India are Non-cooperation movement in the year 1920, civil disobedience movement in the year 1930, and Quit India movement in the year 1942. In these movements, his famous slogan is "Do or Die." He started weaving cotton clothes through the use of charaka in order to avoid the Videshi goods and promote the Swadeshi goods. Among Indians, he died on 30th January 1948. I conclude my speech with a great saying of Mahatma Gandhi Ji. Mera dharma satya ahimsa adarit hai. Satya mera bhagwan hai. Ahimsa use paane ka sadhan. Thank you everybody. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka Mate. Morning everyone, please speak to chairman, principal, teachers and my dear friends, I am Dilsby and I would like to express my views on Gandhi Jandhi. This is Gandhiji's 151st birthday anniversary. Because of his struggle for India's independence, Netaji Subhashan Ribos gave him the name Father of the Nation. Also, sometimes we call him Bapu. In India, Gandhi Jandhi celebrated every year on 2nd October to pay a tribute to him who devoted his life to India's independence by using his strong principle non-violence. Not only in India, in fact in the whole world, this day is celebrated as the International Day of Non-Violence. Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated to remember Gandhi's principles of peace and non-violence and to educate and inspire the present generation. The contribution made by Gandhiji to make India an independent country, he has gone through a long struggle so that the people of India can breathe in an independent nation. He was a devotee of truth and non-violence, Satya and Ahimsa. In his honor, the UN General Assembly has announced this day as the International Day of Nonviolence on 15th June 2007. Mahatma Gandhi, being such a great leader, preferred to wear Kadi clothes. He never accepted British culture and always followed the old and many more. Today, on his birthday, let us celebrate this day with joy and prosperity. His life is an inspiration for all of us and the sacrifices he made are our responsibilities now. Let us contribute ourselves to the growth and development of our country. Jai Hind! Jai Bharat. Namaste everyone. I am Sonali Kegamchikar of class 6B. Today I am here to give a short note on our father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi. The one who spread the six principles in the life are truth, non-violence, vegetarianism, brahmacharya, simplicity and faith. The principle laid down by the father of our nation are more than seven years ago are still relevant. The main principle of Gandhi is Gandhism. Gandhism is an idea of principles that describes the inspiration, vision and the life works of Mahatma Gandhi. Some of these principles are Satya, Brahmacharya, Ahimsa, Kadi, Fasting, Religion, Truth. He is none other than the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi. On October 2nd, we celebrate Gandhi Jayanti. Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram, Patita Pavana Sita Ram. Thank you. Respected teacher and my friends, I would like to speak on Mahatma Gandhi Satyagraha on account of celebration of 150th birth anniversary of Father of a Nation. Satyagraha is also known as passive resistance. A significant and incomparable weapon invented by Mahatma Gandhi Ji is one of the powerful method fought against inhuman injustice, discrimination and exploitation. The birthplace of Satyagraha is South Africa which was used by Mahatma Gandhi Ji against the discrimination policy of the white government. He launched Satyagraha in Indian Freedom Movement. Ultimately brought emancipation to India from the slavery of British government. Later on, this method was used by other leaders of 
many struggles such as Nelson Mandela in South Africa, Martin Luther King in America, and Aung San Suu Kyi in Burma for the cause of justice. I would like to present one instance. Satyagraha was used by Mahatma Gandhi ji against the unjust salt act in 1930 during salt satyagraha. Ultimately, the result was a pinch of salt rocks the empire. This is the strength of satyagraha. This is the morality of satyagraha. This is our father of our nation. We must be proud of our Gandhi. Thank you, one and all. Namaste to everyone. I am Suhana S of class 7C here to present a speech on the occasion of Gandhi Jayanti. Peace is the most powerful weapon in the world. This was said by Bapu. Mahatma Gandhi ji is one of the greatest personality in the history of mankind. His full name was Mohandas Karmachand Gandhi. His parents were Putli Bai and Karmachand Gandhi. Gandhi ji was born on 2nd of October 1869 in Pura Bandar of Gujarat, India. Gandhi ji started his social life in South Africa. There he faced many problems. He found that the dark Indians are very badly treated by the white men. The white men tortured and insulted even Gandhi ji also. One day when Gandhi ji was traveling in the first class compartment of train, he had booked a ticket for him. But the white man punished him and pushed him out of the compartment of train. Gandhi ji fought against this injustice and cruel treatment. He implemented Satyagraha there and became successful. He came back to India and took part in freedom fight. He went to jail many times but all the countrymen joined him and supported him. Gandhiji started the non-cooperation movement in 1930 and the quit India movement in 1942. He was famously known as the father of our nation. Gandhiji was the follower of the thought high thinking, simple living. He taught the lesson of ahimsa, non-violence. He removed the caste barrier system in India. He was a reformer. Some of the principles of Gandhi Bapu are truth, satya, ahimsa, non-violence, sarvodhaya, welfare of all, satyagraha, people protest. Gandhi ji was much influenced by the play of Raja Harish Chandra which made him a unique personality. Gandhi ji was killed on 30th of January by Natram Gutse in in, in Hindu Muslim unit. The, some of the pics are here where Gandhi Bapu lived. Sabarmati Ashram and the Seva Gram Ashram. Thank you. Sabarmati ke sant tu ne kar diya kama Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram Thank you! Hi everyone, my name is Pranati of class 7 and we are here to say the principles of Mahatma Gandhi ji. Mohandas Karmachandra Gandhi was born on 2nd October 1869 in Porbandar. His father name was Kutli Bai and his father name was Karmachandra Gandhi and his wife name was Kasturi Bai. 2nd October 2020 is a great day for India as a country celebrates the 151st birthday anniversary of Mohandas Karamachandra Gandhi. Not only that, the India celebrates the auspicious day as international day to pay respect and aspect promoted by Gandhi ji throughout the life. Gandhi ji starts with a famous line, simple living and high thinking. Mahatma Gandhi ji is a great leader of our country and his development principles are known as Gandhi and principles. Although Gandhian principles, were, uh, Gandhian principles were established by Mahatma Gandhi ji more than 70 years ago, but still these principles are equally important in today's era. And if we follow this principle, we will have, we will surely have a well-developed nation ourselves. Some of the important principles of Mahatma Gandhi ji, which are still revealed, are always speaking the truth, avoid violence, maintenance of peace, peace, increasing the tolerance capability, and many more. This truthfulness of Mahatma Gandhi ji to self and God is essential for students in their future life. Another key component of Mahatma Gandhi ji used during the freedom movement of India against the British Raj is non-violence. Normally people say that non-violence is a key of being, but in reality non-violence and tolerance take 
a great level of courage in the world that is moving. One of his quiet was, Earth has enough human beings, beings but not for human beings. This lines of Mahatma Gandhi this says that how the people destroy the nature and how to live in future. The, Mahatma Gandhi's ideas of cruise ship horse reveals in currents as people leave and destroy the resource wickedly in full generation. Thank you. Namaste to everyone, to respected teachers, parents and all my friends. Today I am going to give a speech on the great freedom fighter of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was born on 2nd October 1869. His parents were Putali Bai and Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. His principles were Truth, Vegetarianism, Brahmacharya, Nonviolence, Faith, Simplicity. These principles, the these are the principles of Mahatma Gandhi. You know who killed Mahatma Gandhi? Yes, the exact answer is Nathuram Gurse. Mahatma Gandhi was killed by Nat. Naturam Gurse. I shall thank all the freedom fighters who sacrificed our nation. Thank you. Jai Hind. Vande Mataram. Namaste everyone. I am Aksa Maniya of Class 8A. Today I am going to throw light on the topic Principles of Gandhiji. Mahatma Gandhi was an intensely active personality. He is the best known as the matchless political leader. He led an austere life and practiced strict vegetarianism. The fundamental principles of the Mahatma are Satya, the truth, Ahimsa, non-violence, Sarvodaya, welfare of all, and Satyagraha, peaceful protest. Gandhi placed truth or Satya as the first and foremost moral. He equated God as truth. As he says, I believe in God as truth only. Ahimsa or non-violence is central concept of Gandhi's philosophy. It literally means non-killing or non-injury. In a positive sense, non-violence means love. It means love towards all living creatures. It implies the total avoidance of harming or killing of any kind of living creatures, not only by deeds, but also by words and thoughts. Sarvodaya in Sanskrit term meaning progress of all or welfare of all. He worked for it till his last breath. Gandhi called the non-violent action as Satyagraha, which is not passive. It called for courage, strength of character and a positive contribution to righteous cause. Thank you everyone. One day Mataram. Happiness is when what you think, what you say and what you do are in a harmony. Though a barrister by his profession, he chose to dedicate his entire life for the emancipation of human's mind which he called as a true freedom. I think you might have got the person whom I am speaking to. Yes, it's none other than the great Indian lawyer, politician, social activist and a writer, the great soul Mahatma Gandhiji. Mahatma Gandhiji was a true leader of masses. His life and teachings are a great source of inspiration for today's youth. His weapons, non-violence and satyagraha are still relevant and are followed by many. He still remains as a relevant thinker today, not only because of the practice of non-violence, but also because of the simplicity in his lifestyle. He said, people to forgive those who commit wrong. He said, forgiveness is the trait of strong, not the weak. Unlike many leaders, Gandhiji is also remembered today exactly how we should be remembered. Every year, October 2nd, India celebrates the birth anniversary of its iconic leader Mahatma Gandhiji. He has been given the title 
the father of the nation for his relentless work which helped India to attain freedom. Thus, by remembering him on this day, we shall pay a great tribute to this great leader. Therefore, I would wish you a very happy Gandhi Jayanti and the International Day of Nonviolence. Thank you. An eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. Namaste everyone, I am Sinchana Gowda. I am of class 8 in standing here to speak a few words on today's great personality. Today's great personality is none other than Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. In 1869, Gandhi was born at Porabandur in Gujarat. It was October 2nd. His father name was Karamchand Gandhi and his mother name was Putli Bai Gandhi. He was an Indian lawyer, politician, social activist and writer who became the leader of nationalist movement against the British rule in India. Mahatma Gandhi once said, in a gentle way he can shake the world, meaning don't underestimate the little things that can make a big difference. A small act of kindness may not seem a lot from your perspective, but it makes someone's day. Do or die, the slogan of Gandhiji during the Quit India movement had a very crucial role in creating an atmosphere of hatred against the British rule in India. The story of my experiments with the truth is the autobiography of Mahatma Gandhi. The 154th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi starts today and it gives us an opportunity to recall the four fundamental principles of Mahatma Gandhi. Truth, Satya, Nonviolence, Ahimsa, Welfare of All, Sarvodaya and Peaceful Protest, Satyagraha. These principles can hold people together and form the backbone of Dharma which means to hold together. Satya means oneness in thought, speech and action. Gandhi believed that there is no religion higher than truth. Ahimsa is the path of non-violence. It should be practiced not only in actions but also in thoughts and speech. Savodaya is a term meaning universal uplift or progress of all. Satyagraha is a protest based on Satya which means path of truthfulness and non-violence. Now, I like to conclude my speech by saying the best thought which was told by Mahatma Gandhi. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Thank you. Namaste everyone. I am Jan Maria Sebastian of Class 9. Would like to share my views on Gandhi's principles. Mahatma Gandhi, lovingly called as Bapu, was the foremost leader of India's freedom struggle. His four principles, Satya, Ahimsa, Sarvodaya and Satyagraha gave a different perspective and held people together against imperialism. His ideologies were worldly acclaimed by leaders like Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, who made it practical against the perpetrators. The most inspiring and motivating quality that I found in Gandhiji is not his speeches, but his actions. He is a true philanthropist and a true politician who practiced his own ideas in life. That's why Albert Einstein commented on Gandhiji. Generations to come will scarce believe that such a one as this, ever in flesh and blood, lived upon this earth. Jai Hind. Thank you. Namaste everyone. Myself, Inchara S. of Class 9K. Today I am going to say a speech on Gandhi Jayanti. This is 150th birth anniversary of Gandhiji. Because of his struggle for India's independence, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose has given the name of the father of the nation. Sometimes we also call him as Bapu. In India, Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated on 2nd of October to pay a tribute to him who has devoted his life for India's independence by using the strong weapon of non-violence. Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated to, rem to remember Gandhiji's principles of peace and non-violence and to educate and inspire the people of today's generation. Gandhiji had undergone a long struggle so that the people of India could breathe in an independent world. Gandhiji was a great devotee of truth and non-violence 
In his honor, UN General Assembly has announced this day as International Day of Nonviolence on 15th June 2007. Every year, Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated at Rajgarh of Delhi and Prime Minister along with the President of India gathers here to pay a tribute to him by offering flowers to his samadhi. Also, on this day, his favorite song, Ragupati Ragava Raja Ram, is sung. All the schools, colleges, private officers and government organizations are all closed on the national holiday. Gandhiji always encouraged faith in people and asked them to fight for their freedom. Even he told not to serve the British people. It is because of him our India is a free bird today. Thank you. My name is Tabitha Alice Hedge from class 9th standard C section. I am going to deliver a speech about Mahatma Gandhi's principles. The four fundamental principles of Mahatma Gandhi are Satya that is truth, Ahimsa that is non-violence and Sarvodaya that is welfare of all and Satyagraha that is peaceful protest. First, we are going to see about Satya. Satya means oneness in your thoughts, speeches and actions. Gandhi believed that there is no such religion higher than truth. It should be practiced not only in actions but also in thoughts and speeches. Ahimsa. According to Gandhi, he who believes in non-violence believes in a living God. Love is a power that cleanses one's inside and thereby uplifts him. For him, ahimsa or love comprehends noble feelings such as compassion, forgiveness, tolerance, sympathy, kindness and many more. So next we are going to see about Sarvodaya. Sarvodaya is a form meaning universal uplift in progress of all. Gandhiji came to the term in ideal of own potential philosophy. Next we are going to see about Satyagraha. Satyagraha is the idea of non-violent resistance that is fighting with peace. Started by him in use to the independence movement and also during his earlier struggle in South Africa. Now I conclude this speech by summarizing the principles of Mahatma Gandhi as Satya, Ahimsa, Sarvodaya and Satyagraha. Let us all follow Gandhian principles in our day-to-day -day life and make our country proud among all nations. Namaste everybody. I am Tirtai of 10th day. A man who for 2th and 9th signs violence for India's freedom are there to 6 principles in life. Truth, non-violence, vegetarianism, brahmacharya, simplicity and faith. He is none other than Mahatma Gandhi. He was born on 2nd October 1869 at Porbandar in Gujarat to Karamchand Gandhi and Putali Bai. Gandhi principles of violence system is something that stirred the entire India at a point of time. It ignited a revolution that brought whole of its nation in its stride and lasted till we were able to force Britishers to leave India. Gandhiji followed six major principles in his life. Truth. Gandhiji believed that truth is absolute truthfulness in word and deed and the absolute truth is the ultimate reality. The ultimate truth is God. Morality and moral values are its basis. Ahimsa. Ahimsa implies total non-violence, that is no physical or passive violence. Gandhiji describes Ahimsa as love. Vegetarianism Gandhians were basically Vaishnavas and staunch followers of vegetarianism. Being born and bred in such tradition, Gandhiji was opposed to meat eating from the beginning and it was Gandhiji's vow to give up milk and milk products. Simplicity Gandhiji never bought clothes for himself. He always made his own clothes at home although he had decent amount of money. He always dressed like a poor western man. Faith. Gandhiji believed that all religions are fundamentally equal and innate respect must be given for them, not mutual tolerance. He felt that people wanting to convert themselves to other faith must be a follower of their own faith rather than on seeking goodness on the other faith. I would like to conclude by saying that one must win in a war by two weapons, that is truth and non-violence. Thank you. Happy Gandhi Jayanti. Namaste everyone. Myself, Sushmita Kail of Class Pinti. Firstly, I would like to wish everyone a happy Gandhi Jayanti. Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated on October 2nd every year in the birth anniversary of Mohandas Karmchandra Gandhiji. 
Born on 2nd October in Porbandar, Gandhiji is an inspiration for millions and millions of people over the world. Talking about the significance of Gandhiji, the most important one was the non-violent Satyagraha. Between 1906 and 1907, Gandhiji started the Satyagraha and raised his voice against the compulsory passes and registration for Indians. Gandhi and Harijans The world was popularized by the great Indian leader Mohandas Karnachandra Gandhiji which was called the untouchabilities. But Gandhiji raised his voice calling it the Harijans which means the children of God. The Quit India Movement Gandhiji started the Quit India Movement to drive out the British from India and one motivational speech which brought enthusiasm in the hearts of the Indians was do or die. After which the British cleared to give the powers to Indians. Observing the International Day of Nonviolence. The United Nations Assembly decided and decided to observe the October 2nd as the International Day of Nonviolence and so it is. I would like to conclude my speech saying that the footsteps of Gandhiji are being followed by people all over the world and will be followed in the future. Once again, I would like to wish everyone a happy Gandhi Jayanti and happy International Day of Nonviolence. Thank you. Happiness is when what you think, what you say and what you do are in the harmony. Namaste one and all present you, myself Pujaji of class 10th here to speak a few words about the principles of Gandhiji. Mohandas Karamachandra Gandhiji was born on 2nd October 1869 at Porbandar, present day in Gujarat. Mahatma Gandhiji who fought and who fought tooth and nail sans violence for India's freedom had that to six principles in life truth, nonviolence, vegetarianism, brahmacharya, simplicity, and faith. The ongoing Hyderabad Literacy Festival being held in the uh, city had a panel discussion on Is Gandhi a relevant today? See Shambhu Prasad, PhD, Professor General Management. Institute of Rural Management, Anand and historian Sudhir Chandra spoke on Gandhian principle. See, Shambhu Prasad said, What was fascinating for me was that even after his death, some of his ideas were taken by the people. This means you need not relate to the historical Gandhi but try to experiment in many ways by without wearing Kadi and Kurta and yet be successful. Jai Jai Bharat. Thank you. Sita Pavan Sita Ram.